I'm Anil Kumar and now let us understand how to write equation for a rational function. It is part of chapter 5.2 rational functions grade 12 advanced functions. Topic here is quotient of polynomial functions. When we say quotient of polynomial functions we mean a polynomial divided by another polynomial which is a rational function. Correct? The question is write an equation for a rational function with the properties given. So we have got three different scenarios. I'll try to give you the best and the simplest solutions for all of them. And slowly we are going to complicate these conditions and understand more and more about rational function. That's the whole idea. So try to go in a sequence in my playlist so that you can appreciate each and every part. Now in these three we are trying to understand how to relate vertical and horizontal asymptotes with the equation of rational function. First one is a vertical asymptote at x equals to minus 3 and horizontal asymptote along x-axis. So when we say horizontal asymptote along x-axis that means y equals to 0, correct? So that is what it is. So we can write the equation as vertical asymptote at x equals to minus 3 that means denominator should be 0 for x equals to minus 3. So I should have x plus 3 in the denominator. If I substitute minus 3, denominator will be 0. This will give me a vertical asymptote. Perfect. Now it says horizontal asymptote along x-axis. So that means horizontal asymptote is y equals to 0. Degree of numerator should be 1 less. So we can just write 1. So that's a constant. Degree of denominator is 1. Degree of numerator is 0. So that helps, right? So that is the correct equation. Second one is vertical asymptote at x equals to 2 and horizontal asymptote along y equals to 2 over 3. So in this case, what we have here is first thing vertical asymptote at x equals to 2. That means we can write this as x times, oh sorry, x minus 2 in the denominator. So that gives us vertical asymptote at x equals to 2. Now horizontal asymptote is along y equals to 2 over 3. That really means that the ratio of leading coefficients should be 2 over 3. When the horizontal asymptote is a fraction like this, we are looking for, let me write in general form, ax plus by over cx plus, let's say d, let's say b then a over c is 2 over 3. That's what we are saying, right? So what I will do here is, in the denominator, I need 3, so I'll write 3 here. In the numerator, I need 2, so I'll write 2x. Do you understand? Now, this particular function has both degree of numerator, degree of denominator as 1, same degrees. Therefore, the horizontal asymptote is ratio of leading coefficient, which is 2 over 3. Do you see that? So, placing brackets help, right? Next one, a hole at x, x equals to 1 and horizontal asymptote along y equals to minus 1. So let's take care of the hole first, which is at x equals to 1. That means we're looking for a common factor, x minus 1, in both numerator and denominator. When that cancels, you get a hole. Now we need, we need horizontal asymptote along y equals to minus 1. Now these degrees are same, but y asymptote will be plus 1 in this case. So if I write minus here, I get minus 1. Do you understand? So that equation will give us horizontal asymptote along y equals to minus 1. I hope that helps. And see the beauty of it, very simple equations which will satisfy the condition. So I hope if you graduate like this, you will learn a lot about rational functions. Subscribe to my videos and learn more. Thank you and all the best.